Hollywood made its presence known yet again here in a mountain. Yeah, filming of a comedy based on a real-life armored car heist in North Carolina years ago took place again today in Haywood County. News 13's Rex Hodge joins us from the Western News Center. And Rex, any star sightings today? Absolutely. Zach Galifianakis was spotted in Waynesville. He brings celebrity power, of course, but excitement and economic impact are co-stars as well. So I saw the famous guy, Zach. That would be Zach Galifianakis, spotted in a small Waynesville neighborhood. I was really excited because I saw all his movies from The Hangover. Danilo Rodriguez didn't expect this kind of excitement coming from his home in South Carolina for a family visit. He'll have a story to tell friends when he goes back home. Uh, tell them that I saw him, and they're probably not going to believe me, but... Galifianakis, donning a pair of wings, is here filming a movie, for the moment referred to as Untitled Armored Car Project, set to take flight in theaters next summer. You know, small town, big name, puts us on the map. <laughs> for residents like Brandy Sims and her daughter, having Hollywood just down their road is pretty awesome, and they can't wait to see the movie. Cool. Oh, we're going. Yeah, definitely. definitely. We need it. We need it for the population and for the businesses. Downtown's real busy tonight, so. Jason Carey says his friend is getting a kind of Hollywood close-up. They're just using his house, I guess. Police blocked off some area roads, a minor inconvenience to Junior Carter. But overall, he says, shooting a movie injects jobs and money into the local economy. We knew about this a couple days ago, so I went and did all my shopping stuff yesterday, so I wouldn't have to get out today. This is the second scene to be shot in Haywood County, and the local film office says there will be benefits, even after crews say that's a wrap. Use the publicity from this when the movie does release in 2015 to not only market the film, but also market our beautiful area and bring more tourism here. And filming was expected to wrap up late this afternoon. Reporting live tonight from the Western News Center, Rex Hodge, News 13.